All right, so today we're going to model a pavilion that's called Norwegian Wild Reindeer Pavilion, uh, designed by Skoneta from Norway, and uh, the location is uh, actually Yershin from Norway. And I just wanted to show you uh, this project because I, I found it quite uh, quite uh, interesting, and uh, I wanted to show you actually this quick video. So let's check it out together. So uh, that was the video. All credits go to Alejandro Villanueva and uh, we're going to uh, model this today and uh, we'll actually model just this front area here uh, and we're going to use uh, these splines uh, in combination with some Rhino, Rhino commands. So uh, let's, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, import uh, an image here that I that I found out and uh, on top of this I'm going to just create quickly the rectangle to get the proportions right and then I will continue with creating uh, the rest so we just have the proportions here and now let's let's see so as you can see um, uh, there is this big shell that we have to create and then uh, there is this uh, wooden area and there's these doors here so as you can see here this place is uh, probably uh, used as a bench so uh, what we want to do is we want to create some kind of uh, like sitting area there uh, as you can see here is the bench and then we have some doors so uh, let's uh, let's start I'm going to create all of these details and then we're going to actually play around with it and get the desired shape so for now I'm gonna lock this both of these guys and I'm gonna use the uh, these plans to start to start creating this uh, this geometry uh, before that I'm going to just quickly uh, estimate here the doors or actually let's go back let's import this guy here and let's see uh, the doors so now I'm gonna scale from here to here to approximately get the same kind of um, proportions that that we used to have and that would be something around there yeah okay so the doors will be here and here Okay, let's delete this guy. Let's check the distance. 
So the doors should usually be around the one. It's fine. Yeah, let's go one more. Seems better. Okay. So this guy has a little bit of shell there. And that's this shell. And for now, we're gonna say, okay, let's lock it. And let's lock this guy as well. And let's go with the these planes. And now I'm going to create this first one. So first thing I'm, I'm always doing, I'm extruding. I'm extruding the the edges because uh, that way I don't get these uh, curvy shapes that we don't need later on. So I'm now deleting the edges again. And now I can start manipulating and playing around with, with the, these plants here. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add another edge here. And let's measure the height, say 0 .0 0 0.5, something like this. So somewhere around there should be the bench. So let's go back and let's manipulate the geometry to get it um, as close to this as possible. So I can see here that there is like this area here is uh, pretty straight and then you have this indentation inside. So the way that, and then it's curving in. So the way that I would model this is approximately trying to, to get all the edges first that we might need and then we start manipulating and playing around with them. So here I also want to add another one. And here also. So basically here I'm adding edges and now I'm going to go to the perspective. And uh, yeah, let's, let's unlock these guys and let's flip them like so and we can then uh, start start playing around with this in the perspective let's go to the shaded mode and let's turn on the vertices and now i can basically play around until i get the shape i want and uh, so basically now I'm just moving around there, the, the dots. So now you can see here what I'm getting. I'm pressing tab key to, to get the tra transition between the smooth mode and this poly polygonal mode. And now you know that this part here is like curving in like so. So you want to have that as well. Here it's going in. So Let's lock it. If you want this curve to be so smooth, if you want it to be more sharp, uh, what you would want to do is add another edge here. And then you can move it here like so. Then it starts to be a little bit different, you see. So it's, sli it's slightly less smooth than before. And now um, we actually need another line here. I'll use this to create the bench. Let's add here, close to here, like so. And you see how we have this smooth transition here. That's because we added this edge. So I'm going to basically bring it down and bring it like this. So we get this, uh, this result. These guys we need to bring down. And now you see we have some kind of a bench there. That's actually, we are creating this area here. So let's check out the image here. So yeah, we have nice smooth transition. So basically we want to have the same kind of feel there. So let's move this guy there. And let's, yeah, we can move this one as well. Maybe this one needs to be a little bit in the back, like so. Yeah, so basically now I'm going just to play around with this until I'm happy with the, with how the, 
the whole thing turned out and then we're going to continue with the second one. Alright, so this is the, the first part and now we're going to create the same thing here on the on the right side. So we're just gonna quickly do the same process for uh, this this area. All right, so so I'm happy how how the the bench turned out. So this is the the final result. And now uh, what we can do here is basically just uh, like fine tune fine tune this if if you want to change it a little bit or increase the the difference here. But overall, this is the this is the result and. Um, you can get very nice geometry with these planes and to create this kind of um, this kind of effects. So basically now we're pretty much done. Uh, we're just going to unlock this and we're going to let's create a separate layer for these planes. And let's move these guys here. And I'm going to also copy them one more time and let me bring them to the layer one for example and now i'm going to convert them to rhino geometry and once this is done i can uh let's say let's say planar surface here and let's extrude this guy somewhere around there and here we can create uh, the doors based on these on these lines let's go to the front and let's go to scale 1d and we can also do scale 1d from the from the the other side and basically now um, we can let's say let's create a rectangle like this or no let's create here the edge like so and let's say like say join offset distance 0.07 for example and we have some bar here that I saw that it's also this distance and right now I'm just going to say curve boolean give me this guy and this guy and now we have this as a planar surface so we can move it into position here extrude it a little bit so it has thickness and of course uh, we can create the doors from from this part here let's go to the top here and once we have this let's go with planar surface let's move it there in the position uh, we can maybe like open the doors like they're open here uh, give it offset of 0 0.03 I can see that these doors are actually glass so what we can do is we can say duplicate border here offset curve on surface select base surface offset distance 0 0.05 and we can use this guy to extrude it and now when one, once we have this we can just say boolean split this guy with this guy and we have our glass material here that we can 
also scale 1D and move it inward a little bit. So we have our glass there and our doors. So, so basically that would be uh, that would be the that would be all. I will uh, render this now. Add a little bit of a wood material and this uh, copper material that I have, and to show you the result. Here is the the final image. Uh, turned out quite well. Uh, we didn't model the back, but uh, that that I'll leave this up to you if you want to practice. And uh, please, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. Uh, and uh, I also have, if you haven't already seen in the description of the video, I have a couple of uh, bonus bonus material that you would want to check out if you're on YouTube. And uh, until the next time, see you and take care.